And this one's really juicy. Southern Poverty Law Center, dailycaller.com, up on infowars.com. FBI severs ties with liberal domestic terrorism inspiring Southern Poverty Law Center. This is the group with the ADL that writes the Minac reports, Mayak reports, Homeland Security reports. It's all written by them. It's even the same graphics. They admit that about how the founders are bad and gun owners are bad and men are bad and borders are bad and, uh, you know, not wanting five-year-olds to learn how to, you know, put a condom on a banana is bad and Jocelyn Elders is going to save us and Alex Jones is evil and blah, blah, blah. And Morris Slee's heading it up and, you know, the same group that was running the Elohim City Command Center that, that federal uh, whistleblowers exposed and got arrested. I mean, they are a really dangerous group, ladies and gentlemen. They advise the police. They give police chiefs awards. The ADL does the same, basically the same organization, uh, just two different heads. And um, the FBI is now delisting them on their website and, not, and saying they're not a source for FBI agents because most of what they have on there is a fiction. They'll have some toothless grand dragon on there, you know, some cousin of Senator Byrd, Democrat, and then they'll put them next to Lou Dobbs and myself. It just, it just doesn't hold water. And the fact that the FBI is delisting them shows a major, major victory. And we're going to continue to hammer the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center. I mean, the ADL got convicted and caught, and they've lost in civil court as well with police files and going after people for no reason and, 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 and tracking citizens domestically and, and secretly infiltrating police departments. And then they go around with these anti-gun initiatives and say you're anti-Semitic if you don't turn your guns in. I mean, it's just, it's total socialist garbage. Using race card to, to attack people. The Federal Bureau of Investigation revoked and removed its links to Southern Poverty Law Center from the Civil Rights Division website last week, breaking ties with the group that inspired a would-be mass shooter in a hate map attack. We'll be right back. Stay with us.